Coil the Time Guy, and welcome to episode 10 of Beyond the Podium. Tonight we're going to finish the short track primer we started last night, since it's on TV already and we're seeing some amazing results. Mommy Biney uh, making it through, JR unfortunately not, John Kruger not making it through, uh, but an amazing 1500 meter final with nine guys, never seen that before. But let's get back to the sport, and very specifically in this case, the physics of the sport. The physics of this sport are extraordinary, like no other. So, imagine this. A short track speed skater enters a corner going this way at up to 35 miles an hour and exits going that way at up to 35 miles an hour. That's zero to 70 in two seconds. That's how long it takes to traverse a corner. So the vector analysis is zero to 70 in two seconds. No car on the planet can do this. So let's take a look at the g-forces of this. Now, in order to calculate the g's, we've got to do v squared over r, get to the, the radial acceleration. When you do that math, depending on the radius of the corner you choose, you get upwards of three, even 3.2 g's. So this triple your body weight. Now let's, let's think about that in comparison to other things. A Ferrari can only corner at one g. A rocket takes off at about three g's. A space shuttle launches worth three g's. So you're essentially doing a space shuttle launch every four and a half seconds or two seconds during the duration of the race. So it's incredible. Let me break that all the way down for you. First, let me teach you to speed skate in three simple steps. So first is, uh, you're going to get in the position, which is quads parallel to the floor, feet shoulder width, hands behind your back, like this. And once you're comfortable, on one leg. So that's the basic position. That's the easy part. Except you have to do that while traveling up to 35 miles an hour on an 18 inch long, one millimeter wide blade on ice headed directly at a wall. Okay, but you have to actually do that around a corner, so you actually leaned over at 70 degrees. That's how far the skaters lean over. And now the real hard part, because of the g-forces, the acceleration causes you to triple your body weight. So instead of a 166 pound skater entering that corner, it's equivalent of two people sitting on your shoulders. So it's a, when I break it all the way down for you, it is a 500 pound one-legged squat from deeper than 90 degrees while leaned over at 70 degrees while traveling 35 miles an hour in an 18 inch long one millimeter wide blade on ice headed directly at a wall. It's hard. Agreed? In the link below I'll share a video I taught an amazing athlete, Jeremy Bloom, in Sochi how to speed skate. And uh, I mean this guy, he's, he's amazing. He was a, a leading uh, leading in the college football, uh, a receiver, and then he made it to the NFL, and he was also two times world champion in freestyle skiing. So, amazing multi-sport athlete, uh, but as you'll see if you follow the link below, he had some trouble with speed skating. So I'm John K. Coyle, the time guy. This is episode 10 tomorrow, episode 11. We'll be talking about some of the speed skaters out there. Uh, follow me here, uh, please share with your friends, and I'll be speaking with you tomorrow. How'd it go?